Okay, yeah, I got a good interesting article here on Wikipedia. I will definitely, definitely read that later, um, but for now, I sort of need to get a new tab, so let's just sort of see if we can... It's just, um, okay, we can just sort of click, okay, and we'll go over here, uh, and we will open up Deadly Stream, because let's see if there's a good mod, uh, okay, yeah, that's good. Glad things aren't slowing down, because you know what, you know what, actually, um, we'll go, we'll go to the mod section here, it's good, and we will open up this mod here, and, uh, you know what, you know what, actually, this, this is something I should probably cover later, so I'll just, I'll just leave this open, just, just, just for now, I'll, I swear I will come back to it. In today's episode, we are going to be taking a look at a Chrome plugin called The Great Suspender. The Great Suspender aims to make you a happier and more productive human being, and it does this by suspending Chrome tabs uh, so that they are not loaded into memory. Uh, this, ta this plugin is obviously aimed at you tab fiends out there, Betamax, I am talking to you, hint, hint. Basically what this does though is it suspends a bunch of your Chrome tabs. So as you can see I have a ton of Chrome tabs opened up here uh, and this tool will unload them from memory and free up computer resources but still allow me to keep them all open. I'll show you how that works in a minute but first let's look at the settings. Uh, so first of all there's general settings which allow you to change when they are suspended for anywhere from 20 uh, seconds all the way up to 3 days. I'm going to set it to 30 minutes for myself although I am generally not a tab fiend so it doesn't really affect me that much. Next up, uh, you can select it to not suspend pin tabs, for example if you have like your Twitter pinned or something like that and you don't want that to be unloaded because you want the messages and stuff to come up, you can select that. You can also have it auto suspend only if connected to the internet or only connected to battery. This is useful for A, if you open up a bunch of tabs so you can read the articles while not connected to the internet, and B, if you're using a laptop, this will save you some power. You can also open up your session history and resuspend, which will suspend all of the tabs that you have open currently. You can reload all your tabs, you can export the tabs, which basically um, saves a text file that allows you to, um, you know, see what you had open here. This is a link to every single thing I have open. And you can save sessions, uh, so I can save this session and I can call it something, and then you can just reopen this huge list of tabs. So again, another really great tool for you tab fiends out there. Next up, keyboard shortcuts. Uh, you can suspend and unsuspend tabs, uh, buy stuff like that, and then finally there's a support. So you may be wondering, what is a suspended tab look like? Well, I have the exact same set, uh, like I have the exact same browser here that you see in front of you open. I will close it though. Only now this one is all suspended. What a suspended page looks like is this. Uh, after the predetermined amount of time, it will basically uh, turn the page into this, and it will say tab suspended, click to reload. You click, and it will reload back to the page that you left on it. So I can go over to my little ec economics article here on Wikipedia, and I can pull back up an article on production theory, or you know, game theory, or the possibility frontier. Uh, you know, economic of it. I can, I can really open up whatever I want. And then after that time period goes by again, uh, the tabs will once again go back into their kind of suspended animation. Also, using keyboard uh, shortcuts, you can use Control Shift S to suspend any tab at will. Uh, so if you really want to do something, I can basically go ahead and just suspend that tab and then I can click and unsuspend the tab again. That's pretty much it and from what I have seen, this does help resources, but let's take one last little test on camera. Alright, so here we are with my huge list of Chrome tabs open. Now these are currently all active, so they're all loaded into my memory, that kind of thing. Uh, what I can do is click the hotkey that I have set up, which should suspend all of these tabs, and we'll see what happens. Uh, so I believe I have to have the Chrome window clicked on, and then I click that, and the CPU usage, as you can see, goes way up for a moment as it suspends all the tabs, and then I just freed up a pretty healthy chunk of memory. Uh, so this is actually very useful. I do have another browser open up in another window, uh, so that might be uh, something you are seeing here. I can close that and we'll get even more memory. And then of course the rest of the memory is coming from, you know, Steam. Chrome in itself still uses up quite a bit of memory for all the other plugins it has loaded. And then obviously my recording software. And if we go ahead and unsuspend this entire window, which we must first click on, 
uh, we will see a couple of things. First of all, unsuspending tabs does uh, use up your CPU usage because it has to actually kind of reload those tabs into memory, reconnect to the websites. Uh, so that's something to keep in mind if you're going to unsuspend a ton of tabs. I wouldn't recommend doing that. I would recommend unsuspending them one at a time. Although suspending all the tabs at once does not take up all the resources. And you will also notice my memory is slowly creeping up and once again being locked away. And that's pretty much it. The Great Suspender does exactly what it claims to do and it does it well. You can go ahead and download it there. Uh, that's all the time we have for today. Please consider subscribing to my channel, checking out some of my other videos. I cover uh, video game modding, I do other suggested software, I do tech videos, I do game reviews, all sorts of stuff. Um, anyways, that's all the time we have for the episode. I have been Zool, and I have suggested The Great Suspender. Thank you very much for watching. I have been Zool, and I hope that you have an excellent day.